Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox. And if you're new, welcome. Today I'm unboxing for you the Michael's $5 clearance grab bags. So my girlfriend told me about them on the weekend and I resisted going. I think it's maybe she got some on Friday and I wasn't gonna go. She actually shared some of her stuff with me and that was really sweet. So anyway, I went back there today and I just saw some new boxes. I peeked in and I saw these little containers and I'm like, I love those containers. So I'm like, oh, whatever, I'll buy a box and see what's inside. So first off, we have these $3.99 little, almost like strawberry um, containers. So those are super cute. I love those. What on earth is this? Yarn pattern holder. Okay. I have um, people in my life who actually do a lot of um, sewing and stuff. So perhaps this is something that they would like. Oh, it's quite dirty. Maybe you can clean that up and see about gifting it. Class of 2020. My daughter did graduate from um, grade eight this year, so I actually could possibly use that ribbon for that. Okay, I have two glass cylinder um, vases. So those are quite different. Those look like that. There's two of those. Interesting. Okay, ribbons. So I love a nice bow for a, a gift. Um, I do a lot of gift baskets, so these are really great for that. I've got all different colors here. Gold, pink, red, white. Those will be super handy. Those there. A whole bunch of, oh, this one was missing one. A whole bunch of letters, iron on. Use these W. <laughs> Not very useful letters. D N. I have a sun that might work with that letter. <laughs> Not great so far. Vinyl letters. Giant vinyl letters. Okay. <laughs> um, Creatology poster accents. An academic planner, a foam candle holder. I'm not going to be keeping much out of this box. Some sort of weird decorator, twist. These are just a squishy thing, so that might be sort of fun for the kids. Pro Refill Recharge. I do 3D. I have no idea what these are for. And this is oh, a binder. So it's supposed to obviously be like a planner or something. That's cute. Oh, okay. So this is handy. This is great. Something that uh, one of my girls would like. Not really sure what it's supposed to be for. Some plain black ribbon, useful. Glass and poster marker. Okay, that could be good. Sticko, a squishy sticker, and then washi, but weird washi, like Iron on trim tape. So, a whole bunch of those. Type cast replacement ribbon. Oh, I have some friends who have the typewriter. Um, yeah, so overall, not a great box at all, actually. Really, a lot of junk. <laughs> a lot of junk. Definitely did not get my $5 worth even. <laughs> on this because like, um, none of this stuff I would have bought. Like, these are the, probably the two most useful things in the whole container. Um, yeah, that was a pretty junky 
grab bag. That may be one of the worst ones I've ever got, actually, I think. Let's see if number two makes up for it. Okay, so here's the second one. It already looks better than the first one. So, oh my gosh, this is why it was so heavy. Okay, <laughs> so, metal floor table easel. And it looks like it holds um, video camera. So it's like a tripod. And um, I thought that might be something useful. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Two of those. Okay. So these are why I bought this bag. So it's worth the five dollars for me because we have this little machine and now my daughter can create these cute little unis because these have like all the little balls and stuff that go in that. So that's useful for that. I have two girls that will love these cute little squishy things so that's definitely a win. They will have fun playing with those. Um, we have the rainbow loom, and I'm sure I can find some uses for for these pink elastics, so that's okay. That's a cute little backpack thing, a little graduation ribbon, and then three boxes of these. Let's see. These are. Okay. So these are wedding invitations. This one's already open. Let's take a look. Oh. They are super thin. There's some really nice satin ribbon in there. Oh, that's good. Okay. This is good. This is great, actually. So it's not intended for this purpose. Okay, let's see everything that's in here, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so these envelopes are meant for these cards. So those go together. But these are so thin, you guys. Like, crazy thin. Like, like they are like paper when you would expect it to be more of a cardstock material. Now this is a cardstock material. This is even actually, it's got a line. I can't tell if it's got a fold in it or not. Okay. So this is worth it for me here. 100% because now look at this I have all these card bases and cards and 40 in each of these containers so so those are great happy about that right there and I will definitely get good use out of those cards so box number one definite dud these these are interesting they're a flocked kind of material and they would actually be really good um, to die cut some doilies or something out of so that's uh, like it'll be an interesting use but man these are so very very light like it feels like I'm carrying nothing in my hand these are so thin these papers and uh, I mean you could possibly make a card or something interesting out of those maybe but you've got great big envelopes but these ribbons are gorgeous so let's see what the bride's wedding collection says so you're supposed to print on them and I was wondering if it maybe would show what the invitation is supposed to look like So it basically is like this and you do up a pretty bow 
around that. And you've got this insert. Well, where are these inserts? Are they in each? Oh, that's what... No. So these... I don't get it. There's no paper to print on. I guess you're supposed to supply your own paper? It's an invitation kit. Contains 40 invitations, 40 invitation jackets, 40 pre-cut ribbons, 40 invitation envelopes, and 40 response cards. What am I missing? I guess, oh, there they are. There, oh no, that's those same things again. This one. Ah, there it is. Okay. I thought those were the same, so I probably will just end up folding those. Oh, they don't even fit in there properly. They, uh, they don't lay flat. It's interesting. They're not folded well. <laughs> I can see why these were big sellers. Anyway, I can easily just fold these guys in half and make another card face out of that. The standard size envelope. So that's good. Okay. And then it's nice. I actually have these big envelopes for just mailing some happy mail. And they're nice and thin. Let's have a look at these pre-cut ribbons. So that's super handy and they're edged on there so mixed bag um, big box useful little box donating most of it and uh, not really much of anything salvageable from from it but overall ten bucks not bad it's okay thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again next time